Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Muhammad Ali and Smokin' Joe Frazier. Muhammad Ali's ring walk, something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. Joe Frazier's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. of this 10-round fight. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good block by Joe Frazier. Punch and move, punch and move. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Joe Frazier. Ali's able to land a good, solid left hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Now a well-placed hook to the head. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Piercing jab. Ali's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. He was waiting for his opponent, just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it. The counter punch by Joe Frazier. Ali's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in the film library. Watchman hammering Hank, the great Henry Armstrong. Never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Back upstairs he goes. Good flush shot by Muhammad Ali. He comes with the straight right hand. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Well placed, straight right hand. Joe Frazier with the big hook. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Goes up top again. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That is a huge headshot after blocking his opponent. Frazier lands a big uppercut. Frazier's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Solid right by Joe Frazier. Targeting that head with the combination. 
punches. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Joe Frazier. Oh, what a big hook from Joe Frazier. Here we go. Round two is underway. How about that left hand? Ali's ability to stay on the outside and to score and control this fight is very impressive. I know as a trainer, you got to love this. Yeah, exactly. I think that he watched Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry. You know, Clint Eastwood used to say, a man must know his limitations. And of course, you have to know your adversary's weaknesses. Well, right now, that homework, that understanding is showing up. Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. Little head hunting with the left. Top notch jab by Joe Frazier. Frazier lands the hook. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Good flush shot upstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Joe Frazier. There's another left hand from him. Ali's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Joe Frazier lands a big left hand. Frazier's on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round, Frazier's tagged by a hook. Nice block by Joe Frazier. Zones in on that overhand right. Ali's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two punch combination landing. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet sign. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Combination to the head. Comes across with a hook up top. Frazier's nailed by a hook. There's a straight right hand. Back and forth they go. Each man getting the best of it. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Good job with the old one-two by Muhammad Ali. Big left hand from Ali. A little head hunting with the right. Muhammad Ali with a piercing hook. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. A well-targeted hook landed by Muhammad Ali. And we come to the end of round number two. Frazier's style is flawed this fight it's not matching up well with an opponent who's more than comfortable hitting him from the outside he's standing there and all he's doing is absorbing somebody's got to remind him you don't get points you don't get credit for taking a good shot Ali's got speed no doubt about it you can see his ability to land combinations with ease yeah but what you want to see now is how effective he is down the road with that speed does he place his punches is he intelligent with that speed Nice solid left hand scored by Muhammad Ali. Ali's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a big man fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover. And they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. And now he's targeting upstairs. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Muhammad Ali scoring with that right hand. Ali with a big left. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by
by Joe Frazier. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Ali's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. What impact from that uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Boy, that'll put a smile on a trainer's face, landing a lush, strong hook by Muhammad Ali. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Boom, left hand comes home. Oh, he's hurt right there. There it is! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over. Look at that. Ali's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Ladies and gentlemen, five knockouts. Your winner, the greatest of all time. Probably gonna mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down.